Um, I'm Jake Thomas Tucker, and I'm a junior. I'm Joseph William LeBoy Recker, and I'm a junior. I'm Nash Logan Kelly, I'm a senior. I'm Kevin, no middle name of Lou, and I'm also a senior. <laughs> what do I look like to you? Do I look like a man who could fix your computer? Do I look like a man who likes spicy food? Do I look like a man who loves Bollywood? Well, what do I look like to you? Some kid that's doing some nonsense that you might understand? Well, you're not wrong, but I'm not a kid. I'm a man. A 17-year-old man with the emotional maturity of a 40-year-old. Why? Because I followed what everyone told me from day one. Get up. Brush it off. You're fine. I'm not okay. Everyone is told that boys don't cry. Or they shouldn't cry at least. Quit being a girl. Boys, boys don't talk like that. Boys, boys don't dress like that. Boys don't. Boys shouldn't. Boys can't. Beg. Disgusting. Burn in hell. Each word punctuated with a stinging kick to my side. I saw laughing faces through toxic tears. Why did you get hit? How can I tell them? people it's because I tried being myself? How can I tell them it's my fault? Being myself wasn't always a good thing. Being myself got me kicked. It made my heart bleed. I have depression, anxiety, insecurities, to name a few, but I don't show that. I'm not happy. I don't speak Indian, but I do speak Tamil. I'm not in math club, and I don't have a four or five. I'm not interested in cricket. Just kidding, I love cricket. I love love and hate hate. I love people and hate, well, people. <laughs> I'm an American and an Indian. I'm not a terrorist, but I'm just like the majority of brown men waiting for the next day. And I never asked to be what others say I am. My identity crystallized by society. Every insult an alabaster stone shattering the glass house of my innocence. Being myself was tiptoeing on shattered glass. Each shard of burning accusation. I was afraid. I was locked in. No one welcomed me. No arms were open. Fake hugs for fake faces. You rely on yourself. You tell yourself to get up and move, no matter how bad it hurts, because when you are the only one sitting in a room thinking how easy it is to end it all, you are the only one stopping you. So you push that down. Because I'm a man. Tell, tell yourself to move on. Because that was my only option, because nobody else understands you. Much but less cares to ask. There was nowhere left to turn. I became what I hated. I became what hated me. <laughs> I wore a cracked mask. A broken visage of masculinity. This fragile masquerade. Held together with regret and animosity. I ran to the arms that stayed open when my mask faded away. Addiction welcomed me, lost, in a hole I dug to escape my shadow. I'm not Hindu or Islamic, but I'm Catholic. I'm not a, a rapist, rapist, a sexist, sexist, or a racist, but I am a man. I can easily fix your flat tire. I can slam poetry. I love fishing and camping. I have known a person to truly care about me. And I put on a mask to hide my emotions to appear strong. But, but the acceptance, acceptance of a false self isn't love, and I am done pretending. I am true to myself. I am neither man nor woman. I am simply me, unadulterated, unapologetic. It was then I saw them, beacons of light so bright, bright that stripped dark, so that I shine with every color, burning with their light. Friends, those who welcome me, those whose light shine with me.